what is going on what is going on my cancers welcome or welcome back to the channel for yet another cancer reading please keep in mind these messages are general you guys so they may or may not resonate for everyone's circumstance if you guys find that these messages are resonating for your circumstance always feel free to share down below in the comments also give this video a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and thank you so very much to everyone in advance i wanted to go ahead and give you guys the information on the free reading so for the month of july you guys i already have a winner a recipient of the free reading as for august i will pick a winner each month for the free reading, all you're doing is emailing me to let me know which reading you choose once I announce the winner, right? And at that time, once you choose the reading that you desire, you will then complete the questionnaire just as if you were booking a personal reading with me. And then I will send you confirmation of when you will receive your reading as well as instructions on how you will receive your reading. Okay, you guys. All right. So this is my way of giving back to those of you who I know desire personal reading, but maybe you're unable to get a personal reading at this time, okay? So let's go ahead and hop on into a spread cancer without any further ado. We done talked enough about that. We got strength and guidance here, and we have raise your vibration. Let's see what the next message is. We have clear, cancel, and release. Our overall energy at the bottom of the deck. <coughs> I'm hoping that you guys can see that. Forgiveness and understanding. So you guys could be needing to forgive. I feel like this is about forgiving yourself. I feel like this is about you tapping into a deeper understanding of yourself. The energy coming towards you is says clear cancel and release i think yes so you're clearing out negative energy canceling out contracts that are no longer beneficial for you when it comes to this next chapter of your life you know and i feel like you're releasing resentment you're releasing Anything that has been a blockage when it comes to moving forward, you guys are raising your vibration, raising your frequency. And because of this energy, it's like you could be feeling a strong sense or urge to release, to change, shift certain things within your life. And it could be certain things that you thought you would never change this way of thinking. You would never change this way of being. This is just like certain things are a part of you. But some of you guys are growing out of certain things that you could still be holding on to tightly. For some of you, it's mentalities, it's um, patterns of behavior. It could be habits, even addictions for some of you. You could be feeling the desire to eat less. You're not eating as much you're not eating certain things maybe you're not want desiring certain things some of y'all could be literally giving up on meat and things of that nature and it's because you can feel the vibration on the planet is raising and this is why a lot of people you're you're seeing these shifts and changes within your daily life because your vibration has to ride raise up as well now those who are not then they're gonna have to deal with the repercussions of being out of alignment with the energy that the planet is currently in you know Next up in the past position, we got strength and guidance. I feel like you guys have had to endure a lot. That's another reason for the strength card, which came out earlier in today's live. If y'all missed the live, I will have that in the eye, either here or here. Child, I don't know which side it's on. I think it's on this side, but we'll see. Either way, um, I'll have it linked for y'all to check out that 
underneath the forgiveness and understanding we have take charge and take action so you are taking charge you are taking action within your life in this time when it comes to your journey as far as healing i feel like some of you guys are also taking charge and taking action within your work life within your love life you're no longer being complacent and just allowing any Thing to take place and or anyone to be in your energy and spirit says what expect miracles in this time now this miracle energy has been following you in the past couple of spreads if you guys have a question in this time about something that's like a yes or no question that's been on your mind spirit is saying the answer is yes Mm. Also, some of you could be getting a proposal and you're saying yes. Somebody could be coming towards you with some sort of offer that you're saying yes to. I just heard say yes to the dress. So somebody could definitely be getting married. And some of you, this take charge and take action is someone new or someone in new energy that's coming towards you. Maybe this if this is a past person, you're having to forgive. That could be what this person is asking for, your forgiveness and maybe even your understanding. Some of y'all are going to say yes, but some of you, I feel like you're going to be releasing this person or, you know, saying no, basically. All right, y'all, I'm going to put a little more oracle messages on this spread just to see i've been being called to the music deck okay okay girl i can tell you've been crying and you're needing somebody to talk to Okay, Cancer, you need somebody to talk to. Some of y'all could be looking for some new friends, desiring new friendships in this time. Girlfriends, guy friends, take it how it resonates. <coughs> I also feel like somebody is wanting to talk to you. This could be something somebody want to talk to you about as far as like this energy of forgiveness and understanding. Somebody who's had you crying. Somebody who was pretending to be faithful and you felt like they was pretending to love you. Some of y'all, this person saying they did love you, honey. They wasn't pretending. For others of you, you dealing with somebody who has not been faithful within a relationship, possibly causing you some tears. We have this ring. This ring here represents my heart. I said somebody was getting proposed to. Somebody could be named Justin. My love, mm, somebody that had the strength or somebody, some of y'all, somebody working up the strength to come towards you with a proposal. Others of you, somebody that already worked up the strength and they've already asked this of you. When a man loves a woman, <laughs> Percy Sledge, somebody named Percy. <laughs> Raise your vibration. What is this raise your vibration? Somebody could be saying that they have raised their vibration. This is why they're coming back towards you. Maybe Spirit is saying this person has raised their vibration. And that's why Spirit is allowing this person to come back towards you. Ooh. Somebody feels like you belong in their life. All they want you to do is be their love. What's this raise your vibration? What else? I just called to say I love you. Somebody want to call you and tell you they want they love you, honey. Okay. And they mean it from the bottom of their heart. Okay. Some of y'all could have someone expressing their love for you in this time. Somebody could just call you up just to tell you how they feel. Some of you, this could be a message. It doesn't have to be a phone call. Stevie could also be significant. Maybe someone's name is Stevie. Somebody could be wondering about you, missing you. Somebody is about to blow your mind in a sense. It's like a, the wonders of the world. Okay. Bottom of the deck, one right now. Said you love me, but I don't care. Mm, some of y'all don't give a damn. Some of y'all say y'all ain't forgiving shit. Okay? You ain't trying to forgive and understand nothing. Okay, cancer. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, for others of you, I feel like someone could be a little bit afraid to come towards you. That's why they've been working up the strength, but they feel like they've been guided or are being guided towards you. And they feel like you're not going to care. Like they saying that they love you, but they feel like you're not going to care. You're not going to want to hear this shit, possibly because of what they done did. Yeah, they, they done triggered you. You look at this person as your enemy now. You are no friend of mine, motherfucker. Okay, that's how you feel. <laughs> Triggered. Yeah, somebody knows this. Mm. Damage. Mm. Damn, somebody knows that they caused a lot of damage. Some of y'all, somebody done caused so much damage that you're not having them back. That's why you're releasing them. Others of you, somebody is fearful that they have caused too much damage, but they are hoping that you will forgive them and for some of you you're gonna say yes remember that yes okay because this person is your vision of love maybe you they are a part of your vision of love also somebody feels like you they vision of love honey okay mariah could also be significant underneath that we have what if yeah somebody thinking about the what ifs they feel like they could have lost out on a connection with you too soon maybe they ghosted you too soon they let you go too soon something like that oh and this person feels like you might turn around and do the same shit to them Ooh. some of y'all telling somebody no because you you saying you if you stay with this person you only gonna turn around and do the same shit to them so you might as well just go ahead and let their ass go because they didn't cause too much damage right for some of y'all and they done fucked up the vision of love <laughs> in that regard okay Others of you, I feel like you have a certain vision of love and there's been a lot of damage that people have done in the past, but you guys are clearing this shit out, canceling it out and releasing it. No more sitting around. It's like you taking power to that take charge. You taking back your power and your authority over your life. You don't have to sit around and be bitter and miserable and angry and distrusting of other people in this energy of triggered. Where did it go? How did it disappear like that? Did I shuffle? I don't remember shuffling. But anyway, y'all saw the triggered energy. It's like... You don't have to be triggered and constantly fearing that someone's going to come in and damage you, hurt you, mess up whatever vision you have for yourself or for a so-called friendship, family connection, relationship, whatever. You are in this energy of taking charge and taking action and realizing that moving forward, you don't have to hold on to that fear. You don't have to hold on to, oh, this person might turn around and do the same thing to me that the people of the past did. Because when you in that kind of energy, the people of the past still got power over you. And that's the energy that they be wanting you in because as long as you in that kind of energy, you will forever be blocked when it comes to uh your soul tribe when it comes to the perfect soul mate that could come into your life because you're not open to meeting them or linking up with them so it's certain contracts that you will never fulfill simply because you allowance the past hurt and pain damage that someone did to keep you or prevent you from connecting with new people out of fear and these people would love this shit because they don't want you to meet anybody better they don't want you to connect with your soul tribe your your soul mate because then you will be happy you will also be able to fulfill certain contracts that you came here to fulfill in the first damn place and so it's a bigger you know it's bigger than oh this person is being mean to me and doing me this way or that way that person is also being you they are a pawn in a bigger scheme on a spiritual level and that's what a lot of you guys are needing to tap into and understand as well somebody could have 
and you saying it could have been a certain kind of way with somebody, but they done fucked that up. But for others of you, this is someone saying that they thinking about what it could have been. They're thinking about the what ifs. What if you were together? What if you lived together? What if you had children together? There could be some fear in the sense that this person may be feeling like, dang, if I go back towards cancer, they might end up doing the same thing. They might hurt me, yada, yada, yada. But I feel like this person has a vision. They have something that's kind of like stuck in their mind stuck in their mind and they're not going to be able to get this out of their mind until they come towards you and find out for sure if if it's uh over or not and then for others of you i feel like this is new love that's coming in it's something that you've always envisioned you don't have to worry about or think about the coulda shoulda wouldas some of y'all actually happy that something that could have been actually dissipated or resolved itself and that's the reason why now you're able to you know manifest this new love and others of you i feel like this is you no longer daydreaming about what your life could be you're taking charge and taking action and you're making that shit happen okay and spirit is letting you know how loved you are through people in your everyday life you could be Getting a lot of love when you go out. People trying to help you with this. Help you with that. Give you this. Give you that. Like, it's a lot of love surrounding you. And I feel like spirit is kind of like blowing you in a good way. Like, surprising, you know? Blowing your mind. I feel like this ring here represents my heart. Could even represent like a promise ring to yourself. Some of you guys have made a promise to yourself that you're never going to put your heart in the in in the wrong people's hands anymore when it comes to your love you know your love is more valuable than what you've been giving it out for and you were blind before like stevie wonder child i'm not even trying to be funny but you were blind before and you was just giving it out blindly but you're not going to do that no more because it led to a lot of damage. But this is what we're clearing out. And you forgiving yourself because you understand why you was in that energy. You understand why you was giving that love out for free. Okay. You understand why you was holding on so tightly to shit that was damaging to you. Mm -hmm. You understand that it was out of triggers. It was out of trauma. But now you standing on your vision for your life. Hmm. You ain't sitting around worried about, oh, this person did this to me or did that to me. I should have done this. I should have done that. You don't care about none of that type of shit. You're not sitting around wishing that you would have done this or that to anybody or hoping and wishing that they get some karma, child. Your perception has changed. You only thinking about yourself. Grief. And somebody is in grief because their perception of you has changed and maybe this was somebody who didn't think that this would ever happen somebody could have never like they didn't know they was gonna be missing you like how they missing you honey some of y'all somebody is saying their perception has changed because really and truly it took you standing in your power and being in the energy of the nine of pentacles this card makes me think of the nine of pentacles so some of you guys are very self-sufficient you've proven your strength to yourself and somebody else has seen this strength and i feel like it's like this person sees you differently this person admires this about you some of y'all this a new person what's this uh i just called to say i love you destiny yeah this person is a part of your destiny some of you guys name could be destiny i feel like this is in alignment this relationship that's coming in being new or a past person in new energy someone is saying that they're ready to be a part of your past others of you you tapping into your destiny the more you raise your vibration the more you tap in and unlock your destiny unlock your wealth and the abundance over your life what's this damage what's this clear cancel and release yeah you creating something brand new with this creation energy 
you're growing you have grown some of you guys could be growing like your own gardens here some of you guys could be herbalists or like taking certain herbs natural medication natural remedies for healing yourself also some of you guys are healers you have some sort of healing power in your hands for some of you I also feel like Spirit is saying some of you guys are a part of your destiny is sharing whatever it is that you have been through with others. Spirit is also sending in so many things for you to be grateful for. I see you being full of gratitude here. And somebody is in this energy. Some of y'all could be feeling grief because you're having to release certain people. <clears throat> in order to unlock this abundance because they're not a part of this destiny moving forward others of you i feel like this is someone who is in grief over the loss of you some of you guys this is someone who has caused you some grief some of y'all could have recently experienced the passing of a pet my condolences for that too i'm oh god also, some of you guys, maybe this is just something you've been through. This could be a part of the journey that you've gone through. And some of y'all, it's not a pet. It could be a family member, a loved one that you lost, right? But once again, I do feel like that loved one is still near and working things out behind the scenes for you and helping things to grow within your life. So, yes, definitely creating a lot of abundance for you in the 5D. And this passing, this loss could have been something that caused some damage. But Spirit is saying this person is actually helping you, you know. Some of you guys are definitely missing someone, someone very near and dear to your heart. Others of you, I feel like this is somebody who is missing you. And they're wishing that they were more grateful for you or they didn't take you for granted. Ooh, child. Yeah, this is somebody who you done released. Others of you, I feel like you done been through this damn energy. You've been out here by yourself, struggling, weathering the damn storm. And you done had to release a lot of people, a lot of grief, a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment and hurt because of these individuals that you've had to release in the whatever circumstances that played out behind why you're having to release them. But you're now stepping into this energy of gratitude because things are changing. You're releasing that energy of grief and resistance sadness sorry y'all and you guys have been growing that's that raising of your vibration honey period and we getting some more some of you guys could be sick illness is here some of y'all could be getting over some sort of illness That could have been, remember I was talking about natural ways of healing yourself, remedies. Somebody could have a cold in the summertime. Alright, what's the strength? What's the strength and guidance? House. Yeah, y'all done had to leave family behind, friends, close interactions. Some of y'all could have also recently moved into a new home, a new place, maybe even a new city or state. Some of you, this is a new relationship. Some of you are having to change your perception of relationships. Mm. Some of y'all are having to release a connection. That's probably where that despair coming from. So that you can manifest the connection that's for you. Some of y'all need to change your perception of how you see living your life. Like when it comes to bills, stressing about bills, stressing about money, stressing about work, allowing these things to create this energy of despair means maybe you need to change your perception of how you see these things, you know, and the power that you give these things over your life. And it's going to take strength for some of y'all to detach even from, you know, 
the uh, patriarchy that we are under, the American way of living, the whitewashing of your mind. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all manifesting a wealthy man. This could be your sugar daddy. Ooh, child. Somebody, some of y'all say that's what you're looking for with this destiny. <laughs> you looking for a sugar daddy cancer. Oh, my God. Mm. Others of you, I feel like this could be like King of Pentacles energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just someone who is very stable, someone who's very practical. <coughs> this could be someone who's a business owner. This could be a family man. This could be someone who has children. Either way, that's who's coming towards you. Some of you, this is new energy. And this is someone with a very stable offer, be it a past person or a new person. Because it's new energy. Okay? Yeah, some of y'all, this is somebody who was a side piece. Or they treated you like a side piece. Or some of y'all deciding y'all want a side piece. Ooh. Yeah, somebody could be in a relationship with somebody who is stepping out, cheating, and y'all deciding to get you a boo thing as well. You didn't change your perception. You like, you know what? If you want to do you, then I'm going to do me. Instead of fussing and arguing and feeling some kind of way. And that's a part of your stream, okay? Because some of y'all could be saying you're going to stay in this relationship, this marriage with this ring here. You know, it's like for some of y'all, y'all could be married. Or have a family with somebody, okay? For others of you, somebody saying they was in a relationship. They done changed their perception of this relationship. Somebody could be having the strength to walk away from a relationship to come towards you, Cancer. Take that how it resonates, though. And this person could be calling you up to let you know they love you. They coming in with a stable offer. Somebody smokes cigars. Others of you, I feel like this is you taking power and authority over your life. Spirit is saying you're going to be this wealthy man or wealthy woman for my feminine energies, okay? Some of my feminine energy spirits saying this wealthy man energy, you're going to be that damn stable, okay? King of Pentacles type of stable. And some of y'all don't want stable relationships you're not looking for a marriage like a king of pentacles or queen of pentacles in that kind of way you just looking for a connection with somebody that can be like this side piece energy you know what i'm saying side dude or side female just somebody to talk to whenever you want to talk or you know somebody to sex when you ready to sex child take it how it resonates that what you looking for. Oh my goodness. Also, somebody is watching you, Cancer. They observing you. They they are studying you. Um, somebody could also be at a distance with the uh binoculars, child. I don't know why I could not say that. Binoculars. <laughs> What's the clear cancel and release? Somebody could have some really bad eyesight. And I was gonna say bifocals. <laughs> So, um, somebody could wear bifocals. Child, the fact that that came out. Oh, Lord, Cancer. Somebody watching you. I also feel like you got to just watch and observe. Yes, y'all definitely have experienced some sort of loss, passing. I also feel like this is someone wanting to come back to life, <laughs> bring a situation back to life. So, like a rebirth here. My condolence to those of you who have lost someone or it's like you celebrating an anniversary or you could just be thinking about your own life, observing your life and missing a loved one that has passed on. And then we have the thief card here. Some of you feel like somebody wasted your time, stole from you, like stole your time. Some of y'all did somebody who actually did steal from you. And if it wasn't stealing, it's like you felt like this person was a thief because they lied. They betrayed you. And this is why they're they trying to come back to life. So, yeah, some of y'all just going to have to pay attention. You don't have to be afraid. You just observe. And if you start to see any red flags, then you release this damn person. Okay? Some of y'all, this somebody who is at a distance. I also feel like some of you guys, this is you putting an end I heard ending your citizenship somewhere. 
So somebody could, I don't know, something about a green card could be here. Somebody could be looking for something like that. Also, Spirit is saying you don't have to stress yourself about anything. Ask any questions. All you got to do is look and observe. And then for those of you that are in relationships, but you're saying you're looking for a side piece, I, I feel like that's what you're looking for, and you're going to find it. And the thief card, this could just represent the seven of swords, you being sneaky and cheating and doing things for your own happiness. And Or some of y'all, this is a sneaky link. I don't know. you being strategic about where you're headed, what you're looking for for some of y'all. Because like I said, I'm picking up on the energy of someone that is not looking for a relationship. Masculine or feminine, honestly. you like, I'm not looking for no relationship right now. But I see you being very honest with people about this. And it's kind of like up to them whether or not they choose to deal with it or not. Because some of y'all like, maybe at one point in time you did try to hide this kind of stuff before. But you that's what you changing. Because trying to hide it did not help. Some of y'all, it's just you being strategic about how you how you go about your own happiness. Okay? And some of y'all putting an end to something that's robbing you. Or draining your bank account. That's what the thief is. Some of y'all, this a damn habit. An addiction. Or a person. And that's what you putting an end to. I don't know. Some of y'all just a relationship with somebody that's at a distance. Take it how it resonates. But let's get some more clarity, Spirit. What's this strength and guidance? So we got the death. And the three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody ending a relationship or ended a job. Some of y'all ended... The way that you perceive a relationship. Some of y'all saying you don't want a relationship. Others of you, your perception of relationship has changed in the sense that you could be looking for a relationship where uh, you got sister wives. <laughs> okay. So, you know, polygamous. You just looking for the right masculine. Right? This wealthy man. And these women, child, these wives, some of y'all, that's what has changed, though, your perception when it comes to relationships and how you're going to have your stability. Some of y'all feel like money or stability is more important than love. Maybe you feel like that was something you didn't know at one point in time, but this is something that you have realized. And or I feel like spirit is saying trust your intuition when it comes to whoever is coming towards you right now. Some of y'all, this a new person altogether. Others of you, this is a past person that's in new energy. But you have to trust your intuition as to whether or not this is new energy. You're going to know. You're gonna know. So don't be in this energy of the seven of cups. Like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know what this is. What this is. No. Some of you, if somebody is coming in and it's stable, you're gonna know because they, they making ten of pentacles type of moves. They talking about ten of pentacles types of things. Okay. Whereas if somebody coming back towards you and they just shooting the shit, they just still leaving things up in the air. You feel like they still entertaining options or you feel like they got options. If it's new energy altogether, you feel like this person is preoccupied. You feel like they're being inconsistent in any type of way cut it short also i feel like you got some options coming towards you that you don't see when it comes to money finances this payout some form of stability here that you don't see is coming in Some of y'all could have ended one job or one circumstance where money was involved Back here in the past, 
and you're like trusting your intuition and moving forward i see a brand new connection but you might not see that right now because spirit is saying you got other options just because this circumstance has come to an end it doesn't mean that your options have ran out the seven of cups means that you still has have options right and with the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is bigger than the three of pentacles some of y'all, somebody was offering the Three of Pentacles and you about to get the Ten of Pentacles. Others of you, I feel like somebody could have felt like they were in a Three of Pentacles dynamic that they thought was better for them. Some of y'all, this was your soulmate. And this person, they chose stability. They chose materialistic shit. They chose money. They chose image. They chose whatever, honey. And now this person is realizing that they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. Ooh. So this is another reason why somebody is coming towards you. They've been moving hella slow. Knight of Pentacles. But look, reconciliation is at the bottom with the Three of Cups. So they coming. Y'all just don't see it coming. And I feel like something has been taking some time for some of you. And Spirit is saying you might not see it right now, but you're moving towards financial freedom with the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Stability. Abundance. You just got to pay attention. Look, good news is coming your way. Just keep watching. Spirit got you, honey. Spirit got you. Five of Cups is here. So this is what you're putting behind you. That's what you're releasing. Disappointment, regret, sadness, grief. We saw that grief. Okay. Some of y'all, somebody coming towards you saying that they feel sorry for what they did to you. Yeah, five of cups and the page of cups is the six of cups, y'all. I just realized that, okay? So this is somebody for some of y'all that is from your past. Others of you, I feel like Spirit is saying this is an opportunity for you to make some new memories, but you got to release and cancel out the shit that you have gone through <coughs> in past relationships that make you feel skeptical about meeting new people and connecting with new people. That's what you got to release. I mean, if you observe some funny business off of people, just release their ass. But Spirit is saying you got something new coming in, a brand new creation. And to manifest it, you are going to have to release the damage that has been done by others. I also feel like some of you guys, it's like it's something you're trying to create. Maybe a new aspect of yourself, these changes. But for some of you, it's something that you're releasing, letting go of, that may have brought you some sort of pleasure. It could be a person, whatever. It brought you some sort of pleasure, but with the Page of Cups, it's not all the way fulfilling. It's not as fulfilling as you would want it to be. Because it's just the page. So Spirit is saying you kind of settling right now. And Spirit is like if you can release whatever it is that you're settling for right now. If you can clear this out, cancel this out. You're going to observe your life getting better and better when it comes to the creation. You're going to start to see the things that you want to create come in faster and faster. That's what you're going to be observing. Okay? Some of you spirit is saying when these feelings come over you, this sadness, this grief, this remorse, this depression even, it's like you're having to observe the feelings, don't absorb them. For those of you who are releasing a relationship especially, some of y'all this is, um, like I said, releasing a habit. It's something that's been calling for an end and you guys are making the change for some of you 
Others of you, like I said, I definitely feel like this somebody coming towards you with an offer of love. All right, we're going to clarify with this deck here. 555 five, five could be significant for you, Cancer. This is to let you know that some of y'all, your love life is changing. Some of you are going from single to married or in a relationship. Others of you could be going from married to divorced. Some of you, this is a new relationship dynamic altogether. But it's making you happy. Somebody could be Dominican or from the Dominican Republic. Maybe some of y'all move into the Dominican Republic. I don't know. What's the Three of Pentacles? The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Some of y'all in a partnership with somebody here that's coming to an end. Others of you, I feel like somebody is saying they were in a partnership and that partnership has come to an end. They could have been in a relationship with their baby mama or baby's daddy. Somebody could have even been married. But I feel like they was in a relationship with a karmic. And then for others of you, this is you in a whole relationship. Married, got children with, whatever, a karmic. Some of y'all, y'all came from a karmic family dynamic. And this could represent your mother that you have put an end to a relationship with. For others of you, I feel like some of you could have lost a mother or a family member in the recent past or even distant past for some of you. That could be something that you're grieving the loss of currently for some of you some of you this could even be a masculine energy a brother i don't know why brother came to my mind for a knight of pentacles also i feel like some of you shifted your perception of yourself you could have been caught up in the past on, well, people are treating you wrong because you've been connecting with a lot of karmics. So they're treating you wrong to wake you up to your strength, okay? And these are the people you've been trying to connect with, trying to love, trying to give them the energy of the damn empress and spirit is like nope it's not gonna work and because of these connections it could have put you in a perception of feeling like yeah i can't trust nobody right and that's what spirit was saying needed to transform you needed to realize your worth and your value and not in the sense of you not worthy, so that's why you keep attracting this kind of energy. No, you are worthy. And the fact that you're attracting this type of energy, the lesson in it wasn't because it wasn't, oh, you're being punished and because you're you're not valuable. No, it was know your worth, know your value. If someone isn't treating you the way you want to be treated, discard of their ass. But a lot of you guys had difficulty with this. Due to certain patterning and programming from a karmic karmic family dynamic for a lot of you. So this kind of blurred your perception to a degree. And because of this, it could have caused like blurred perception when it comes to certain relationships. So although you, you want this ring energy you want someone to be in the energy of giving you this ring to represent their heart some of y'all could have even got married child that's another way i'm seeing this you could have already done been married and now you like your perception of marriage has changed the death it has transformed others of you it's like you could have been wanting this knowing that you're worthy of this and you were kind of settling for some sort of sexual connection. So as long as you kept connecting with this person karmically in a sexual way, it was not getting this person in an energy of, oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and settle down with cancer. No, they was just like, well, shit, if I'm going in, if I'm already getting what I want, why would I put a ring on it? 
So some of y'all even had to change your perception of, well, how the hell are you going to get what it is that you want, which is this house, which is this home, which is this family dynamic for some of you. Others of you, this is about your, your perception when it comes to the way, like money. Some of y'all could be in some sort of karmic connection when it comes to money or have some sort of karmic lesson, generational curse to break when it comes to your finances. Some of y'all, this is about your spending habits, what you spend on, what you're doing. I'm also hearing something about productivity, five of cups. If, if you're not happy, then you have to change what's causing you to experience unhappiness, right? What's the Knight of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. Have the faith the size of a mustard seed. I also feel like this is somebody coming towards you with a proposal or some sort of offer. The moon. King of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all, this a contract. So this could be a job offer. Others of you, this is a marriage proposal. Some of you, I feel like somebody coming towards you with some communication when it, go, when it comes to their feelings and their emotions. Especially for those of you, somebody could be saying that they have ended a relationship that you don't even know about. Maybe that's another reason it's taking someone a long time to come towards you. Somebody might have wanted to not be in an energy where this would be a rebound. Maybe somebody wanted to make sure something was completely null and void before coming towards you. But somebody is definitely coming towards you. And I feel like somebody is expressing something to you that you didn't know. So some of y'all, this is a past person telling you some sort of feelings or something you didn't know they had. This person has raised their vibration. And they coming towards you in a very stable energy. This is definitely a divine counterpart for some of you. For those of you that resonate with this, okay? And they calling you up to let you know that they love you. And hey, others of you, this is a new person. And you don't even see this connection coming. <laughs> okay, King of Pentacles. And I'm sorry, King of Swords. This person know what the hell they want to. They know what they want and they're not afraid to go after it. And they coming in, you don't see this. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius individual. But yeah, this person say they coming with a stable offer because this is your soulmate. They're a part of your destiny here. Some of y'all going to meet this person. Maybe you met this person at work. This could be someone saying they want to work something out if it's past energy. This is someone putting a lot of focus and attention on you. And then for those of you that this is about you. I feel like you tapping into your destiny when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your stability. I feel like you, you loving on yourself in this time, raising your vibration like this card here says. Okay, loving on yourself, allowing those around you to love on you. And spirit is sending in new connections. This is also your abundance that you have unlocked. And you're tapping into this energy of stability, Cancer, overall. you making decisions here. you trusting your intuition. Some of y'all made the decision and you finna stick to this goddamn decision as well. Okay, so I see you standing in the energy of power and authority, being very disciplined. You're not changing your mind. It could have taken you a very long time to get to this place, but you're here now, right? Some of y'all, this is knowing what it is that you want. And the Knight of Pentacles is like, it's going to take you time to manifest it. It's going to take you time to build it. It's going to take you time to work on whatever this is. But you willing to take the time, 
okay, you taking the time to take the time and you stacking your paper. This eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles is the nine of pentacles. So you single and abundant on your own, very self-sufficient. And I also feel like while you standing here working, you don't even see that it's an offer coming behind you, child. It is. Mm, you don't see it with the moon. This could be another cancer. It doesn't have to be, though. Okay, could also be Pisces. Ooh, cancer. Yeah, they gonna put that thing on you. Yeah. I see there being a lot of chemistry and attraction between you and this person. For those of you that this is a new person. For those of you this is a past person. This person want one more chance. Biggie, biggie, give them one more chance. Okay, give them one more chance if you feel they worthy of a cancer. But definitely trust your intuition in regards to whoever this is. Okay. And then for those of you that this is just a new opportunity. This could be a new opportunity when it comes to making money for some of y'all this could be you traveling also sometimes i see the ace of wands i think about travel distance okay so some of y'all could be working on moving some of y'all could be working on a business opportunity but you kind of keeping quiet about it right now with the moon what's the five of cups and when you raising your vibration, start like pay attention to the people around you and how the hell they start acting, child. Because that's going to tell you who for you too. Okay, that's what you need to observe as well. Y'all start to realize once you start raising your vibration, you start cutting certain things out. Oh, I don't go out no more. I don't drink no more. I don't smoke no more. I'm not having sex with just random ass people anymore. Or I'm not going to continue to give myself to people i'm not getting what i want in return it's like those things are going to cause the people around you that are not a part of your soul tribe that are karmic they're going to be in their feelings they're going to be trying to make shit difficult for you so watch how the people start acting around you whenever you raising your vibration some of these folks going to start raising hell five of damn wands chaos conflict drama just trying to keep your vibration low concord <coughs> could also be significant also some of y'all it's like don't let how people see you <coughs> don't be in the energy of worried about how other people see you or see what you're doing observing you and watching this or that at the end of the day they wasn't with you in the motherfucking trenches. That's another way I'm kind of seeing this death card. They wasn't with you when shit was gloomy, when shit was rough, when you was weathering whatever storms you didn't had to weather to build up your strength and your trust in your inner guidance. Okay, so when it comes to these people that wasn't with you and then they want to try to come back or they feel like they uh, they are owed something from you child bye you don't owe these people any damn thing they was not with you when you was going through whatever the hell you was going through hey what's this five of cups I'm not going to take those. The Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups once again. So I feel like this is some sort of good news coming your way <coughs> in regards to um, and putting, putting some sort of worry to an end, to a close, that overthinking energy. Some of y'all could also be like I said, observing or reminiscing, thinking about a loved one that passed. Because that's another way I'm seeing that Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all walking away from a relationship. And that's what also has come to an end. Others of you, I feel like somebody is saying that they they went through some sort of breakup back here that could be coming towards you. And this might be something that they're trying to let you know as well. It's like they telling you, yeah, they done broke up with that other situation, the third party situation that could have caused this 
sadness, depression, guilt, maybe even resentment. If some of you guys feel resentment towards this person, they saying they don't walked away from a disappointing circumstance. So they coming towards you with this offer here, like an apology or some sort of offer to reconcile for some of y'all because they walked away from something. I feel like this person could be saying that they was going through some healing as well. And maybe that's another reason they didn't come towards you right away. Others of you, I feel like you walking away from something that has been preventing you from fulfilling the fullness of your happiness, of your joy, of whatever it is that you want to see for yourself in this life when it comes to what you're trying to create. So if it's a person that's holding you back, if it's a mindset that's holding you back, if it's a pattern of behavior that's holding you back i see you walking away from it because it's not giving you the fulfillment with the five of cups yeah you separating from something or someone others of you this somebody who coming towards you and they at a distance ciao Some of y'all walking away from some sort of disappointing maybe a job that was not fulfilling draining your energy some of y'all this a relationship though what's the page of cups mm -hmm. some of you this is a relationship others of you this is a job hell this could be a country a government i don't know child something some of y'all this is walking away from maybe the ways in which you looked at relationships before because somebody, if you're looking for like a third part or like a polygamous relationship, I see you finding that. And now because you found, it's like now you know that this is what you want. And you found the type of connection or partner that you feel fits this way of living, right? And so you get to walk away from all the shit that you didn't dealt with in relationships before trying to have maybe a monogamous relationship so you feel like you're walking away from those kinds of disappointments due to the shift in your perception others of you i feel like this is some sort of good news coming something you've been looking for so a payout of some kind from the government or some sort of business or establishment it could be some sort of benefit also and so now basically spirit is saying you get to walk away from disappointing circumstances you get to walk away from struggle this energy of grief you know like not being satisfied with a certain circumstance possibly surrounding your finances if you feeling like you don't have enough right now, something like that. Bottom of the deck energy, we got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, something is coming in quick. And some of y'all, this a person. Mm, mm, mm. Some of you feel like somebody, it's like they come in and as soon as they come in, they trying to make the relationship already stable or not stable, but committed and serious. Some of y'all need to take y'all time though. Don't rush things. Learn from the past in that regard. Others of you, this is somebody from your past. And they offering something stable. And then some of you, I feel like you're about to meet somebody that you are attracted to. There's chemistry. And you want to know, can this person fit into this dynamic when it comes to like a, a relationship where there are multiple people? Okay. So polygamous. And it's going to balance out. Some of y'all, this could be a Sagittarius. It's going to be a very balanced connection. And I also see you guys working something out here with someone. Okay. Some of y'all feel like y'all working with somebody that's unreliable, that you cannot trust really. But Spirit is saying, remain in this energy of peace and balance. Don't allow whatever this person's actions are to put you in an energy of feeling like the Five of Cups. 
and getting angry and things of that nature. Spirit is like control your emotions, right? And as long as you do that, don't worry because spirit is going to balance things out so that you will be able to separate from whoever the hell this person is. Boom. And I'm ending there. The sun. So that's the good news. This is a change that's coming in. I feel like this shit is going to have you so happy, Cancer. It's a surprising shock, too. And somebody is revealing something here that you didn't know. With the moon, it's like you didn't know this. Some of you guys could be receiving some sort of news. Not news, like a package or something too. With this three of pentacles and ace of, I'm sorry, knight of um, wands. Yeah, you could be getting some sort of package also. So stay on the lookout for that for some of y'all. It could be unexpected too. All right, my Cancers, that's it. Those are your messages. If these messages resonated, give this video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share down below in the comments. And I'm going to catch y'all later in another one. Until then, take care, Cancer.